The Nurkort Caves National Park was officially recognized in 1994 for its extensive fossil record, when the site was inscribed on the World Heritage List, along with rivers. There are about 26 caves at Nurkort Caves National Park, though not all are open to the public. Some are set aside for scientific research or for protection of the caves and their contents. The Nurkort Caves offer self-guided, guided and adventure caving tours year-round. There are also a number of walking trails throughout the 600-hectare park. Hasten Trail, this is one of South Australia's best-known walking trails, starting at Cape Jervis near Kangaroo Island and ending in the Flinders Ranges, some 1,200 kilometers away. Not for the faint-hearted, you might prefer to start small and enjoy one of the two-hour walks along the way. The southern section, from Cape Jervis to Spalding in the mid-north, is ideal for beginners and those with children, following the Mount Loftier Ranges. If you have the time, this is the ultimate walk for those who want to see South Australia in all its diversity. Air Peninsula. Rimmed by a rugged and ravishing coastline of cliffs and sheltered beaches, the triangular-shaped Air Peninsula is one of Australia's least crowded coastal stretches and one of its most beautiful. It is located east of the Great Australian Bight and Cage Diving with Great White Sharks scores top billing on the list of tourist adventures. Visitors can also snorkel with giant cuttlefish in Irwila, or swim with balletic sea lions at Baird Bay. Whale watching is another popular activity during May through October when southern right whales migrate along the Great Australian Bight Marine Park. The Kuarong National Park is a protected area located 156 kilometers southeast of Adelaide, and the park predominantly covers a lagoon ecosystem officially known as the Kuarong and the Young Usband Peninsula. The ecosystem of the park is unique, due to the interaction of fresh and salt water along its length with seawater and Murray River water meeting rainfall and groundwater. The fresh water supports the fauna of the area while the seawater is the habitat for much of the bird life. Birdwatchers will find this park a paradise, with birds traveling from far off Siberia and Alaska to visit the Kuarong wetlands. Along with the Brasa Valley, the Clare Valley is another venerable Australian grape-growing region and located about 136 kilometers north of Adelaide. Picturesque pastoral landscapes provide a perfect setting for romantic weekend retreats, and the region is known for its flourishing gourmet food culture. Polish, English, and Irish immigrants originally settled the valley and their culture and customs are still evident in the charming heritage towns and historic bluestone buildings. The opal mining town of Cooper Petty lies in the heart of the South Australian outback. The name of the town comes from an aboriginal phrase meaning white fellows in a hole, since most of the inhabitants live in underground dwellings, dugouts, to escape the fierce heat of summer and the extreme cold of winter. In 1911, gold miners found valuable white opals here. Over the years since, opal mining has converted the desolate countryside round Cooper Petty into a kind of lunar landscape. Visitors can still try their luck after obtaining a prospecting permit from the mines department in Cooper Petty. The Gala Ranges National Park is located approximately six hours' drive northwest from Adelaide. This wilderness is known for its wildflowers, sculptured stone formations and salt lakes. One of the problems with Australia is that there is so much spectacular scenery, you really can't explain how extraordinarily beautiful this region really is. The ranges are a small part of the Gala Craton, which means the area has been undisturbed geologically for eons, and so has had time to erode into a dramatic landscape. Lake Gerder is one of the most visited spots, with the red and orange rocks contrasting with the salt white lake bed. The picturesque Flareu Peninsula, a spur of land projecting southwest from the Mount Lofty Ranges, is a playground for many activities fishing, boating, bushwalking, whale watching, surfing, and swimming, just to name a few. Top tourist attractions include the beautiful scenery, wildlife reserves, and superb beaches such as the sheltered sandy inlets in Gulf St. Vincent. Victor Harbour is one of the most popular beach resorts on the peninsula. Connected by a long causeway, Granite Island protects it from the turbulent Southern Ocean and is a haven for kangaroos and penguins. Named for famous explorer Matthew Flinders, the Flinders Ranges are a delight for nature lovers, photographers, and artists. In the shifting light of day, the arid landscapes provide a striking play of colors, from pale pink and gold to burnt orange. Despite the dry conditions, the area is home to a surprising abundance of wildlife, emus, yellow-footed rock qualities, and flocks of brilliantly colored parrots inhabit the region. 
The mountains run from north to south through the eastern part of South Australia stretching northward for 400 kilometers into the scorched outback. York Peninsula is known for its gorgeous beaches, coastal towns and inland mining towns, and the scenery of the stunning national parks. It's a great spot for seafood, surfing, and shipwreck diving. Natural beauty abounds in the area, with many walking trails and plenty of Australian wildlife to see, and the peninsula has a fascinating history, both indigenous and European, which you can learn about at the many museums in the area. The Moon to Mines Museum is fascinating, and nearby Kadena is a particularly lovely town to enjoy. Laru is also well worth a visit, the Heritage and Nautical Museum even offers ghost walks. Australia's longest river, the mighty Murray River flows from its source in the New South Wales Alps to the Southern Ocean in South Australia. Sandstone cliffs and tall eucalyptus trees fringe the river and its wetlands are important habitats for many water birds. Once home to the Ngarindjeri and Ngaraku people, today the river irrigates a vast citrus growing industry and agricultural region and provides a wealth of water based activities, from fishing, boating, water skiing, and swimming to gliding along on a paddle steamer. The Brossa Valley, about an hour drive from Adelaide, is a favorite day trip from the capital. Blessed with fertile soils, this verdant valley is one of Australia's oldest grape growing regions and a haven for foodies who are lured by the high quality fresh produce and artisan foods. German and English immigrants originally settled the valley, and their history and culture is still palpable today in the historic buildings, heritage trails, museums, and European style cuisine. In addition to all the historic attractions, the region boasts plenty of other diversions. Visitors can shop at the popular farmers' markets, attend cookery schools, feast at the fabulous restaurants, relax at the day spas, and browse the many gift shops and art galleries. Along the limestone coast, Mount Gambier is an extinct volcano with four beautiful crater lakes as well as sinkholes and gardens. A curious natural phenomenon occurs on the Blue Lake annually in November, when the color of the lake transforms from dull gray to a brilliant cobalt blue. A scenic drive with spectacular views runs round the crater. South of Mount Gambier, sightseers can explore South Australia's only World Heritage Site, Nurkhort Caves, with fascinating fossils, colonies of bats, and haunting subterranean scenery. Other attractions on the limestone coast include the Bird Ridge Lagoons and Coastal Dunes of the Kuarong, a chain of lagoons and salt lakes between Lake Alexandrina and the sea, the grape-growing region of Kunawara, Pretty Beachport, a former whaling station, and the historic beach resort of Rope. Kangaroo Island off the Fleru Peninsula is the third largest island in Australia and one of the country's top natural jewels. Sparkling cerulean seas, pristine beaches, rugged coastal scenery, fascinating rock formations, caves, and close-up encounters with charismatic wildlife are the prime attractions. Besides its namesake marsupial, visitors can see koalas, seals, penguins, sea lions, and a diversity of birds in their natural habitat. Scuba divers frequently spot sea dragons in the crystal clear temperate waters, and many wrecks lie sunk in offshore. The Brossa Valley, about an hour drive from Adelaide, is a favorite day trip from the capital. Blessed with fertile soils, this verdant valley is one of Australia's oldest grape growing regions and a haven for foodies who are lured by the high quality fresh produce and artisan foods. German and English immigrants originally settled the valley and their history and culture is still palpable today in the historic buildings, heritage trails, museums, and European-style cuisine. In addition to all the historic attractions, the region boasts plenty of other diversions. Visitors can shop at the popular farmers' markets, attend cookery schools, feast at the fabulous restaurants, relax at the day spas, and browse the many gift shops and art galleries.